If this fighter's even a shade superstitious, he might well have winced at these omens. A big name fighting below his true grade, and expected to romp to the title. Getting badly out hit by Takeru Fuji of the Nichidai Sumo Machine. A broken Dokyo, would you believe? Chipped by Tanji's heel and Akiyoshi's knee. And his own last outing in match 6, which resulted in stunning defeat. Asano Yama took his marks. <laughs> and was duly cut down by Tamawashi's attendant. I discussed what I'd do with Tamawashi himself, said 11 year pro Tamashoho. And we worked on keeping him off my belt, as I'm destined to lose in the grapple. Kiribayama used to round Asa on the left like that. They might want to call it Mongolian Rope Trick. For Asanoyama, who bemoaned his high chin and subpar endgame, the agony of seeing Shiden win, and the fear of a virtual sudden death playoff which might be fixed up for match 7. Asa v Shiden, winner goes up, must surely be in judges' plans. His colleague Asa Shiyu, though, was far from upset in Division 5. But his title decider will test him indeed, as he faces Nichidai's Otani, whose young frame is far less injured. Stay tuned for that one on Friday. And in Division 4, Nihon Sports Uni's Takahashi hemmed in and scooped his hapless foe to preserve his perfect score. Two other men are 6 and 0. Oh. This may not be decided by Friday. Japan's Labor Appreciation Day fittingly served us a feast of sumo efforts to appreciate.
That was our sumptuous second tier dessert. For the main course, two leaders went chest to chest. And Akua did blitz with his judo moves, even testing his luck with a trip, before forcefully swinging with frontal left grip. His fourth win in five over Tsurugisho. In the top flight, not so much bad omens as the tempting of fate in the form of a YouTube video by Oho's father, Takatoriki. My boy's weak points have all been addressed, he enthused. And day seven proved it. Instead of pulling, he now moves to the side and restarts the attack. In that case, his winless record against Abi. should not have changed to 0 and 3 in such a one-sided manner. Oho wouldn't face questions on last third collapses and probably wishes others wouldn't speak for him. The victor of this match was destined to catch him And to neutral relief, Takayasu so did. The parallels with March title playoff were there, but his strides seemed steadier, his angles better, and his left foot worked well to block rope escape. My hip position was decent and low, hence I dealt with the parries just fine, Taka said. I feel I've been good throughout this year, and have managed my setbacks well too. I charged all right, but then let him dictate, said Nishiki Fuji post-match. The stakes were sky high as I knew too well, and I'd worked rather hard on a game plan to win. Which left the ball in Horshordu's court. This to move one point clear of the pack. And swiftly he did with orthodox grip, with Mitake resisting not even as much as a tennis ball smashed across court. It was like that because I was in the zone, said Horshaw Yu to the press. I'm not bothered by talk of titles right now, and will give due importance to each and every remaining bout. The first one of which is against Oho. The first time they've met for 50 long months since their battle to stay in Division 3. On that occasion, Horshoryu won. Psychology matters indeed. Emotionally charged this bout will be. Join me to see how it ends. <laughs>